Hey, hey, happy Thursday, everybody. Welcome back. I hope you didn't think, uh, hope you didn't fall for my April Fool's joke. Yesterday was not the final vlog. I hope you didn't just see the title and be like, oh, I'm not gonna watch that. Screw that kid. But, uh, I'm just kidding. There's more vlog, don't worry. There's more vlog, because there's always more Molly. Hey! What are you doing? Aww! Put a bird on it. This is not my son. Molly, why? What is so yummy about my hands? Molly! Oh, you're done? That's it? Now they're not good enough for you? I'll touch your paw. <gasps> See? What the hell? Okay. All right. That's enough. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good girl. Good girl. All right. We are going to retube this amplifier. Before we start, I need to mention that if you don't know what you're doing, don't do it. Replacing the tubes, not so much, but when you get into actually opening up the amplifier, it can be very dangerous. Tube amps store a bunch of the electricity in the capacitors inside for a long time after you unplug it. And it can kill you, so if you don't know what you're doing with your amplifier, please don't open it up uh, and mess around with it, because you can get seriously hurt and you can ruin your amp. Alright. Alright, so the tubes... These are the tubes, and so this amp I just got from someone, I don't know how old the tubes are, so it's always a good idea just to change them, just so they're new for you. So these are the tubes I got, I got JJ's, um, this is the first amp that I've had that uses uh, EL64's, which the the power tubes, I usually use uh, 6L6s, which are much larger, but that's okay. We're gonna we're gonna put some new ones in anyway. So I got some new ones. I got match pairs. It's always important to get a match pair so that the power output of the tube is the same. So these are the power tubes, and these are the preamp tubes. Okay, so there's no real trick to changing the tubes. It's like changing light bulbs. So what we're going to do is take off this, pull down this guard thing. And really all we're going to do is pull them out carefully. Just do a little wiggle, pull it out. A little wiggle, pull it out. So we got all the power tubes out. The preamp tubes have this little metal guard here. I'm just going to pull down. Each amp is different, so I'm, your amp probably won't even have this stuff. Just pull it out. I always do try and do a little circular motion to try and loosen up the prongs. Pull it right out. There we go. No tubes. They're little vacuum tubes. Let's open up the new ones. All right, so we got the new tubes ready to go in. Um, you want to try and handle the tubes uh, as least as possible, and try because the oil from your fingers can affect the the glass. Um, all right, so we got the new tube. We're gonna stick it in. It's gonna be a little hard to see in there, but you want to line up. See, there's a little gap in the prongs there. You want to make sure you line that up. And there we go. We got the new tubes in. Nice and secure. I got all the clips back on. Now I just plug it in. There we go. See him light up. Looking 
looking good. That's pretty much it. Changing out the tubes on my amp is very simple. Um, I saved the old tubes just in case. Just in case. I don't know if they. I mean, the amp played okay because I bought it from. Uh, I bought it used. I don't really know the backstory of it, so it's always good to replace them anyway. Um, yeah, but we should be in business. It's always good once you change the tubes to let them warm up for a little bit. Let the tubes burn in, and uh, that's pretty much it with this amp. With other amps, you need to uh, rebias it, and what what the bias is is uh, you can set how much voltage or electricity goes through into the valve or the tube, and pretty much um, the higher you set the bias, the dirtier the amp is gonna run. And by dirty is like uh, like it breaks up, like a distortion. This amp um, doesn't require that, which is a nice easy step, but my, my larger amps do, and I usually run them about 35 to 38 on the bias. Um, yeah, that's a quick easy fix. If you had a tube amp that sounded kind of crappy, check the, you know, check the tubes, replace them.